right, welcome back, everybody. Yeah, this is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lucians. Okay, guys, in this video, we will talk about handling page events in jQuery Mobile. So, jQuery Mobile gives you ways to have more control over how pages work within the framework. And the events for handling pages in jQuery Mobile are divided into four categories. First is page initialization. Now this happens when the page is created and also before the page is created. The second event is page load and unload. And this happens when an external page is loading, unloading or encounters a, a problem. And the third is the page transition, which happens uh, before and after page transitions. And the fourth is page change, which happens when pages are changed to or from or encounter failures. I'm just going to show you one example and you should figure out how to implement the other methods just by from this example right here. But for a complete list of the page events, just go ahead and visit the link below. So let's go ahead and take a look at the page in it. This method is triggered on the page being initialized and, and also after initialization occurs. So in jQuery mobile, the docs, they recommend binding to this event. So all we do here is I created another page with an ID of page in an event, nothing special, same thing we've been doing. And below for the JavaScript, you see I select my new page and by using the on method, which allows me to attach an event handler function uh, to the selected element. And inside of our callback function, we just alert the user, hey, I fired off, uh, it triggered. So let's go ahead and see this in action. That you just, okay, now that event that you just seen right there, of course, goes under the initialization category. So before moving to the next example, or actually moving to the next video, I just want to mention one thing. So in jQuery, you probably learned, well, you have learned to use the document ready event, which is this code right here. Looks familiar? And this is to prevent any jQuery code from running before the document is finished loading. But okay, in jQuery mobile, you want to use the page create event, which is this code right here. And this occurs when the page has been created in the DOM, but before enhancements are complete. All right, so that was a short video. I think we got a few more videos to go before we move into the phone gap topics. So just hang in there.